Yo, what's up with me? It's Coolin' with McFly, episode number. Episode 34. That guy was gonna, thought I was gonna forget then. Man, Coolin' with McFly. I'ma say this. Monkeypox. Damn me, monkeypox. Where this come from? And these diseases, they get more advanced. One thing I can re really just come with is, is lack of hygiene, man. It, it gotta be lack of hygiene. Because people ain't washing their hands like they're supposed to. People already don't wash their ass. And, I, you know, half the people, they don't do that. And then a lot of stuff is really unsanitized. And people just, you know, it's like people on, uh, like, different websites eating raw fish. And, you know, just eating all, eating all this crazy food. Exotic food that you really don't supposed to be eating. And then some people, they're just doing crazy stuff. And that's, I think that's where all these diseases are coming from. Straight up. I mean, because the weirder we get, the more stuff we do. It's like the world evolving. But it's evolving Hey, it got its pros and it got its cons. Saying like back in the days, you had to sing a woman love songs and everything. All you gotta do now is give them forty dollars. Well, really, it ain't forty dollars no more. All you gotta do is look nice or whatever. You know, whatever they got going on these days. But at the end of the day, everything done changed. You know what I mean? Everything is evolving. Like people get more careless. People get like more money is out here. More money is out here. It's easier to have sex and everything. Easier to catch more diseases too. More and diseases they get deadlier. They get deadlier by the day. You coming up with monkeypox, corona, and everything. But I remember back in the days, you know what I'm saying? They had on like on these back of these like Lysol cans and stuff like that about the coronavirus. That's before it even hit the streets, and, you know, did what it did. It was our, it was it was on the back of a can or the Lysol can or whatever. But at the end of the day, when it was on the back of the can, people weren't paying attention to it. It was just like a oh, coronavirus. This was like early, you know, 2000 before corona was even thought about in America. Before it was even, you know, before it even, you know, took over the game. But when it came. And then people start taking it more serious because you know we start losing people and stuff like that. But now this monkey pox coming through. It don't even sound right. Monkey pox. You know, what I wanna know where the hell the name come from. I gotta keep my eyes open because at the end of the day, you don't wanna catch none of this that's floating around here. You don't wanna catch the monkey pox, the corona, the heebie jeebies, the eggy biggies, whatever it is. You don't wanna catch none of that. I just decide, you know, this six feet need to turn into ten feet. You need to go ahead and just start staying away, period. You know what I mean? Because at the end of the day, it's a lot of stuff going on, you know. The monkey pops, what's gonna be next? Hey, we get to thanking you too. Some people get to thanking, be like, hey, people ain't washing their hands like they supposed to. Hey, really, people ain't hot, you know, really ain't, you know, on their hygiene game. A lot of people ain't really on their hygiene game. Some people just walk around the house all day and then you know you're supposed to be washing your hands all the time. You're supposed to be taught to wash your hands when you a child. You know what I'm saying? You're supposed to be taught to wash your hands and your body when you a kid. You know what I mean? And some people, they don't do it now. You know what I mean? Supposed to do that every day, you know? But some people, it's like some people, they are less sanitary. Then you look on like websites and stuff like when you go on TikTok or wherever you go, you see people like eating raw meat, raw fish, or just trying to get entertainment. They just do crazy stuff. You know what I'm saying? They can cause diseases too. Everybody just be careful. You know what I'm saying? Be careful. Take care of your family. Make sure your family careful. Wear masks, gloves. I mean, do whatever you got to do because it's like everything is getting worse. But it's an upside to it too. Yeah, it show you how good God is, man, because at the end of it, we done made it through all this, and he's still taking care of us, right? He taking care of his own, don't he? Hey, God take care of his own, don't he? He look after us, don't he? We still surviving, ain't we? Really, if you look at it, if you look at this world right now, God is showing you who he is. Think about it. Everything that we going through, everything, all these plagues, all these diseases, all these shootouts, all this violence, and you still here. See, the world may be getting crazier and crazier, but you're getting stronger and stronger. You just don't pay attention to it. You're probably looking like, dang, now we got to go through this. Now we got to go through that. Now we got to go through this. But you built to last through all of it. Look, as much as we done survived and much, much, all these storms and all these plagues and all these diseases we done been through, and you want to give up on life because it's hard? Yeah, man, I know it get rough sometimes, but at the end of the day, you make you want to quit and everything. Life can get complicated and get hard and put you through all kinds of storms and stuff, a lot of pressure. But think about it. We done made it through a lot of plagues, we done made it through wars, we done made it through fights, everything. We done made it through everything, America, everything, the whole world done made it through. It don't matter where you at, all over the globe. Everything that y'all done went through, when you still standing and you still breathing, baby, like I said, you was built to last through it all. And I'm going to tell you one thing, Jack, at the end of the day, the monkey pox ain't going to be but another notch up on not built. Because we're going to be still alive, still kicking, and still here, still breathing, still alive and well. Healthy, still in full effect. Corona tried to take us out, but guess what? We're still here. AIDS tried to take us out. Remember the AIDS pandemic? There's a lot of pandemics that came through. And when they came through strong, a lot of people, you know, a lot of people, they, they didn't make it. But at the end of the day, we, we survived. We made it. We still here. 
God got us. He got a hold of us. You know what I'm saying? Hey, God keeping us. Whether y'all know it or not, God keeping us through every plague that come through, everything, every battle, every fight, and we still surviving. We still going strong. Man, come on, man. God's just showing you who he is. He letting you know everything that you're going through. Hey, you ain't getting through all this by yourself. And how many times you done worried about a lot of things and you done thought severely what the worst could happen and didn't nothing happen? Man, y'all remember when that Ebola came out? And when that Ebola came out, people was looking for, you know, white dust and all that stuff in the mail, whatever they were looking for. But at the end of the day, they came and they kind of hit pretty hard too a little bit. But at the end of the day, hey, we still undefeated. We won. One thing I can say about being a human being, we got the knowledge to survive anything. And we got a God that can withstand and keep us through anything. And no matter what comes your way, you still a winner at all costs. Because you still alive, you still breathing, you still kicking, you still going strong. You are a straight winner. No matter what comes your way, no matter what disease, no matter... What kind of plague they say on the news? That's why I be telling y'all stay away from the news. We win. We're going to stay on top. We're going to be singing that song like the kids used to sing. We won. We won. We shot that BB gun. What's that? Y'all lost. Y'all lost. What happened when they lost? I forgot what they do. They ate tomato sauce. <laughs> you know, when a kid is, when a kid get a whooping or a kid get hurt or something, all the other kids standing around just looking. Especially when a kid get a whooping. You can tell when a kid get a whooping though, man. Hey, they act like they wasn't crying, but you, you can hear them take their breath. <laughs> Man, you get a whooping? Nah, man. And then, you know, when they when they did get a whooping, you already, hey, you like, get a whooping? I'm like, yeah. Did it hurt? <laughs> Tell you one thing, if you're in school, hey, you better not have no church pants on, no slacks when they get a pallet. Hey, that's gonna stain right there, player. I don't know nothing about them cutter rolls. I don't know, I never, I don't even think I really never had no cutter rolls. I know some of y'all done had some cutter rolls out there. Y'all probably got some in the closet in there. Hey, you know, I'm up here talking about paddlings and cutter rolls, you know what I'm saying? Y'all grew up in the 80s and the 90s, you know what I'm saying? I was an 80s baby. But, uh, yeah, you know, I'm a, I'm a pretty older guy. But, you know, at the end of the day, you know, hey, that's how I was back in the day. Everything to changed. Now, you know, I don't even think they still get paddles and spangles or nothing in school. I don't know what they do. They probably make you sit in the corner or something. You know, now you got YouTube, Facebook, and everything. You know what I'm saying? We didn't even have the, ac the access. The thing that we had back in the day was Nintendo and outside. We had to make up video games and stuff like that. Now, you got YouTube and you got Facebook. I see 15-year-old kids with Facebook accounts up here inboxing women and all that. Talking about they got relationship problems because a woman in inbox. Let me tell y'all young bucks something. I'm going to let y'all know. Y'all keep inboxing. Don't give up. I'm going to let y'all know right now. Don't give up. If she ignoring you, keep inboxing her. And at the end of the day, she ain't ignoring you, player. She ain't. Really, what you said just left her speechless. Yeah, that's just like back in the day. You know, like, you know, you had to take a girl out, you know, boyfriend and girlfriend. And what they said back in the day, y'all courting. <laughs> <laughs> you see cats walking around licking their lips all the time. It was a lot of LL Cool J's back in the day. So, it's all good. I'm trying to be all player. <laughs> you know, because, you know, back in the day before, you know, guys was rocking all these diamonds in their ear. They had the Morgan Freeman earrings. You know, the little loop. That's the kind of earring they had back in the days. I never wore earrings, though. I don't know. I wasn't that kind of guy to wear no earrings. Even when I got old, I still didn't want my ears pierced. I always thought that was for a woman. You know, no offense, gentlemen, but I'm just saying at the end of the day, you know, that's just me. You know, some guys like it. Some guys, everybody like their own thing. A lot of people like to be tatted up and all that. I don't want to look like graffiti. Some people, they like gold in their mouth. Some people like platinum. Some people got diamonds in their teeth, you know. I don't want to walk around and barely talk. They're like some of them, that's not half of them talk because they got like a plate in their mouth. And then some people get surgery, get them surgically put in there. I don't want to walk around. You got to smile every time you talk. You know, I don't want to do all that. You know what I'm saying? I'm not that type of guy. Just like the drugs, man. The drugs getting advanced and all that. Man, everything getting advanced. Well, also, hey, sometimes you just be happy to be an 80s or a 90s child. And it's just like church. Old school church back in the day. Man, you go into a church house. You know, you got the pianist over there. You got a few people in the choir. That's how they ready to sound. The whole choir sounds just like... And everybody in the, in the congregation, all right now, ain't nothing on key. They, they had them eat the speeches and all that, you know what I'm saying? All you had to do was just study, study a few lines. And then you got the kid, they up there studying the line like they're about to audition for the showtime at the Apollo or something. Mama, did I get it right? Okay, come to the living room, baby. Let me see what you got. <clears throat> Happy Easter Day. That's it. That's all they're going to say, all right? Soon as church time comes. They gonna go up there, okay? We finna introduce little Matthew. Little Matthew go out there, ah, little Matthew, all right, let's hear it, boy, let's hear it, son. First thing he say, we've been practicing Happy Easter Day for almost six weeks, and now he go, mm -hmm. just say Happy Easter Day, Happy Easter Day, everybody be like, all right now, all right. 
And back in the day, it's fight. We used to get mad at each other. Be like, I bet you want to knock that stick off the show. Go ahead and knock it off. Dude be standing there. Man, hey, y'all instigate. No, dude, y'all instigate, man. Y'all instigate. Knock the stick off his shoulder. You scared? Knock the stick off his shoulder. And they don't do that. You know what I'm saying? They be right there. You know what I'm saying? They'll bump shoulders. Be walk around in circles and all that. What you want to do? What you want to do? What you want to do? Bust a move. What you want to do? What you, what you want to do? So, you got to stand there for 15 minutes. What you want to do? What you want to do? Now, it ain't no fight. Everybody want to pick up a gun. What pops out Friday? Scared take a ass with me. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Oh, women ain't no different. Oh, yeah. They used to take, back in the day, they used to take off their rings and all that, and the earrings and all that, take off their little shoes or whatever. And then, some, you know, sometimes, you know, hey, they had that ponytail, they had the, uh, the perm and all that laid out. Hey, they didn't care about none of that back in the day. They ain't take no wigs off. They ain't do none of that. They didn't take nothing off at the end of the day. It was, the only thing they took off was their earrings and them shoes, and they finna get down with it. Get down with the get down. It's some women out there still like to this day, you know what I'm saying? It's some women, they still get down, you know what I'm saying? It's some women out here, you piss them off, they'll turn from classic, and they'll go straight to a beast. And at the end of the day, they'll take their earrings off, slip their shoes off, take their wig, whatever off, and it's just that they're taking more stuff off these days, and then they fight. But I'm just talking about the memories, y'all, you know what I'm saying? Hey, just stop the vibes now. I'm just talking about how it was back in the days and how it is now. You know, just like everything that changed, everything gonna change. And they're like, it's just like right now. You know, in the future, like 20 years from now, people are going to be missing this. Like, people were missing the 2000 era. You remember when the early 2000, that crunk era came in with all the music and all that? Everybody just started dropping hits. T.I. Jesus, like Atlanta from Texas to, you know what I'm saying, New York. Everybody was just dropping classics. Everybody was working with each other and stuff like that. Man. But, like, during them times, you couldn't miss them. You couldn't miss them days. But now you got the new rappers coming in. And they finna make a stage now. They finna go ahead and build them a Lexus. They were like, man, you remember 2020? Like, yeah, I remember 2020. It ain't no same as like I'm talking about the 1980s and the 90s. It was real fun back then. You know what I mean? From the whoopings to the fights and everything. You know, from, you know, that's when, you know, like when you're in small towns and stuff. At the end of the day, when you're in small towns, hey, the parents just don't look after the children. The whole community look after the children. And God got the children. You know what I'm saying? I'm telling you, God got them. The whole community got them. Everybody know everybody. You know what I'm saying? It's just number but love. And this just... Hey, it's like sm sometimes small towns is just a beautiful place to be. Then, you know what I'm saying, it's nice and quiet. You hear the frogs and the crickets. And then, don't get me wrong, the, mosqu the mosquitoes, yeah, they're going to, the, the mosquitoes going to introduce you. You know what I'm saying? They're going to introduce themselves. They're going to come out there. I'm talking about, you're going to have to have you, hey, in the country, you know, sometimes, you know, people walk down the street with them towels. Hey, they'll them towels for the sweat and the mosquitoes. And then, you know what I'm saying, then, you know, sometimes when people be hitting blocks and riding around like on a Friday and Saturday, hitting the same corner over and over again. And then you just talking to them like you just seen them for the first time. Hey, slow that car down, boy. What's up there, boy? What you got going on tonight? I'm going to go down here. All right. I'm going to be down the street. All right. The same damn place you just came from. Then you got the women. They got their hair done, got their nails out. You know, some, you know, walking with the baby strollers and all that. And then some walking in packs. And then you got the people over there looking for a fight, you know. It's everywhere you go, man. It's just fun. Then you got some people frying fish. Some people buy, frying barbecue. You got some people with sound in their car. Hey, it's just a beautiful life. It, it really don't matter if it's in the country or the city. Some people can say the hood. Or, it don't matter where you at. But everybody remember, it's just good times, man. At the end of a fridge fire. Hey, everybody be hungry, everybody be, you know, drunk a little, something like that, and people still be hungry out there and ate, and they want to see what's left. Um, hey, the fish gone. Only thing you're going to see in there is a couple of tater logs and a few hush puppies, and a little bit of coleslaw, but that fish gone. And at a barbecue, the barbecue ate hey, the ribs the first to go, the ribs and the steak. <laughs> you know when you, <laughs> and the kids, they ain't really show the kids no love, man, they all gave the kids hot links. Like the kids, they too young to eat steak and they too young to eat ribs or something. Y'all get the hot dogs and hamburgers. Y'all gonna leave the kids, y'all gonna leave the good food for the grown ups. <laughs> and everybody left. Somebody always left something. It's gonna be a phone. Somebody gonna leave their kids, they're gonna come back and get them. But then at the end of the day, whoever house it was held at, as soon as everybody gone. Ain't nobody helped you clean up. Hey, <laughs> you got beer cans and everything. You know what I'm saying? People's gonna start cleaning up as they go. Then they, they made that rule. Hey, you go ahead and throw your stuff away. Y'all got them little Tupperware trash cans out there in the top. You know, the black trash cans. Everybody had one of them outside in the yard. Got the little fish fry going on and everything. And everybody had that song. Uh, had that song. For the good time. <laughs> Lay you. Hey. Everybody playing that song, man. <laughs> it like it was always playing when. The party was just about over. Everybody about full. 
But it's all good. I want to leave out on a positive note. Though. I just wanted to chop it up with y'all. You know, cool with me fly. You know what I'm saying? Y'all know what it is. But I want to leave out on a positive note. You talk about the monkey pox. You talking about coronavirus. There's a whole bunch of stuff out here that can kill you. This is a dangerous world. There's a lot of people out here with dangerous minds, dangerous attitudes. But at the end of the day, if you keep God in your life and you keep him by your side, hey, can nothing come against you? You're going to face some hard times. You're going to face some good times. You're going to face some bad times. You're going to face some blessed times. You're going to face all kinds of times. But at the end of the day, just stay with God, man. He's going to carry you all the way through. Love, peace, and happiness. If I don't see you on YouTube, I'll see you in the street.